right, how you doing? Welcome to Vans Drumming. Randy Van Patten here in the vault once again for a, a great lesson for you. I'm going to talk about this technique that uh, um, I've spent years and years perfecting. Um, it's a really cool technique and involves the double bass. Um, you know, I, I, I play double bass a little bit. I don't, I'm not like a crazy double bass player. One of these crazy fast guys. Like, <laughs> I know a lot of people ask uh, me to help out with their double bass technique and building speed and stamina and how can they get their left foot as fast as, as a right foot and build up independence between their bass drum, uh, the two bass drum pedals and such. But um, so I'm going to talk a little bit today about a really cool technique that uh, helps double bass players. Uh, whether you have a, a actual double bass pedal or if maybe you have a two bass drums, which not a lot of players have today. Uh, you know, a lot of times the, the kits have gotten scaled down. They used to be really huge, you know. I used to have a Ludby kit that used to be really big. You probably saw one of my videos back in 1991, I believe. So it's pretty cool. Uh, double bass kits are really neat. So uh, anyway, but a double pedal, you know, I think I got my first double pedal Geez, it must have been like Christmas of like 1983 or 4. But it wasn't even a double pedal. It was actually like a, uh, I believe it was a, a, geez, was it a DW? It might be a DW. Yeah, maybe a DW. But it wasn't even a DW that was two pedals. It was actually like this uh, clamp-on mechanism that you would clamp on your single pedal. And then it, uh, it, it kind of had a little arm right next to it. And the actual beater uh, was kind of bent like a little L. So it would, because uh, it clamped on the one side of your pedal, you know, your one leg where your, your, your spring's on this side or vice versa if you're backwards. And then it had like a, uh, a clamp to a clamp on, and a little L kind of thing went over because it had to reach the bass drum so it would match up with the other beater. So it would play around the center of the bass drum, of course. Um, and back then, I think I had a Speed King pedal, so uh, that or a Tama uh, or, a, or a Camco. Remember Camco pedals? So I had a bra bracket on there. So that was my first double bass pedal way back in the day. So uh, it's pretty cool. But uh, double bass playing is pretty neat. And this technique, I, I, again, it's taken years and years to master, and it's a really cool technique. And I, I, I'm going to share that with you in a second here. Um, I want you to understand, you know, a lot of challenges. Think about the challenges you have as a double bass player. What kind of challenges do you have? That's right. That's right. That's a bad challenge. That's tough to plan. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. So one of those challenges, obviously, is when you have two bass drums or you're playing a really cool groove on the, on the bass drums. Uh, uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, actually, um, you know, it would be cool is if I... I don't even think I need to show you, really. I think, you know, because I, 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 think, I think playing things is just kind of pointless. So, uh, but if I, if I explain to you, uh, my, 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 uh, my sound guy over here is making lots of racket. Hey, guys. Hey, sound guy. Quiet down a little bit, all right? You're making lots of noise. Cool. Okay. So, anyway, um, so, again, I had a double pedal. Uh, to recap what we've been talking about, back in, I think, 83 or 84, I got my first one, and I've been playing kind of since then, but I'm not a really fast old bass player or some crazy metal <laughs> kind of guy. You know, I use it for tasteful stuff, little fills here and there, little, little cool little riffs on the bass drum and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway, so when I play my double bass, you know, I, what happens if I want, you know, to uh, close my hi-hat? Uh, and play just with my hi-hat closed, you know, you know, so they, you know, with the coolest technique I've found and, 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 you know, it's, it's probably a small investment of maybe, geez, I don't know, 14, 15 bucks, maybe 1995 nowadays, uh, Gibraltar probably sells them. I bet you a bunch of companies sell them, um, is, uh, you know, this, the, you know, the device that will help you to get your hi-hat closed, you see. So, uh, anyway, but, um, so I'm not going to play for you right now. The, the example, because I think you, if you played double bass, you probably know, you know, uh, what I'm talking about. Like, say you want to do 16 off the double bass and play a beat. And you want to switch over to the hi-hat. Well, what do you do? Hey, oh, my gosh. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Maybe, maybe you could buy one of these cool little contraptions, and, and uh, I'm going to show you how it works. It's really cool. So, you, you take your stick, you, usually your right hand is probably your prominent hand if you're playing a right-handed kit. Now, I, you could, some, some drummers play with the left hand, but I tend to play with my right hand. So, uh, you know, typically you're playing, oh, I'm sorry, you're playing your ride, you're doing your fills, and then you want to come back to uh, maybe a really cool groove on the hi-hat. Um, but your hi-hat's open because your last groove you might have been, you know, playing a So you, you may want to be, you know, closed. So how are you going to do that? <laughs> Jeez. So there is a solution and I'm going to show you that now. And again, this has taken me years and years to really focus on and, and, and get this technique down. So 
Uh, go ahead and get ready for this because this is nuts, all right? So you take your right hand because it's typically your right hand you're playing with, and, and before you come down, like say you're playing your ride and you want to come over and you look over to your hi-hat and you say, oh my gosh, my hi-hat's open. I can't stop in the middle of the song and loosen that little wing nut. What am I going to do? Well, lucky, lucky they sell these really cool contraptions, which I just spoke of, pretty cheap. Uh, sound guy, we don't want to be drumming back there while I'm, you know, trying to do my thing here. I'm trying to teach a lesson here to all these nice folks at YouTube. Okay, there you go, very good. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, so I, okay, yeah, I got double bass, I think I bought a double pedal back in 1983, or oh, Christmas, uh, in 83 or 84. That's not where I was. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so you're playing your ride, and you're playing your beat. And then you say, I want to hit my hi-hat, and, and, uh, but it's open. What am I going to do? Well, yeah, so for 14 or 15 or maybe $19, you can buy this cool contraption. And, again, it's taking me a long time to, to really master, but check this out. Right hand up, okay, and your technique has to be really cool. Make sure you're holding your stick between these two fingers, you know, so you have some nice control over this hand coming down. And when it comes down, you want to make sure you whack this little rubbery, sometimes don't have rubber, maybe they have other thick things. But, so make sure you hit this little, this little knobby here, and this is awesome. Pay attention, I'm gonna do this once. Josh, hey, one second, one second, okay. So quiet, 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 here we go. So make sure you watch this once, here we go, ready? Here comes the clutch, here comes. Dude, is that not amazing? That is amazing. That is amazing. So anyway, that's a hi-hat clutch, and they sell these in the stores, and it's really cool. To, uh, really, that's a technique. You know, you got you to gotta master that. You know, I'll do it again for you, okay? I'll do it twice. I, I didn't want to, but, you know, I'm, just so you can see it again. Maybe I'll even slow-mo this for you. You ready? How cool is that? That is cool. That is cool. So thank you for joining Vans Drumming today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I hope you got a lot out of this. Go out yourself, buy yourself a cool little clutch like this. And again, this one's probably, you know, good 10 years old or something. So anyway, they sell them. Lots of different companies make them. Go to your local music store, drum shop, pick one of these things up. You'll, you'll never regret it. It's an amazing tool. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Again, Randy Van Patten, Vans Drumming. Visit VansDrumming.com uh, for all your crazy needs. Thank you very much. Have a good day.